Hi, I'm Sonia, and Children of Empress, this is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force ground fit. Might belong to a different king or queen, and know that it can be flipped round because it's universal ground. So only take it with an eight and leave the rest with someone else, and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. This is a collective reading for Libra. Welcome Libra, hopefully you're have, having a good start to your week or a good weekend, whatever day it is for you. So, let's get straight into the reading. Firstly, we have some romance oracles. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We have an earth angel there. Looks like somebody with lovely hair. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and stopping to smell the roses. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. That could also be a past life connection. Somebody that you've known in a, in a past life. Doesn't have to be someone from the actual past. Let's see. We have some Hidden Truth Oracle. I wish I could take back my words. So there might be somebody actually from the past who wants to take back something they've said. I know that I crossed the line with you. You came closer than anyone. And I am so attracted to you. And I'm starting to understand our connection. Oh, it sounds fascinating. So let's see what we have for Libra and the Tarot now. Looks like it's going to be juicy. So we have some sort of happily ever after. This is all your cups being filled. The family, the home, the children. This is all your wishes coming true. Looks like it's some sort of beautiful connection. But we have a stalemate. Somebody here has had... This is like some... Nobody's won. Somebody's tried to win at all costs, and it's actually something to do with some sort of happily ever after. But there's some sort of stalemate. But it looks like this person's still watching. This person's still interested in you. It looks like they're not really being honest about this. Somebody is watching and seeing what you're doing. This is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Younger energy, some sort of immaturity probably. But the challenge here is this is some kind of rejection. This is a missed opportunity. Spirit has presented this cup and somebody's just rejected it. They've been looking at these other cups. Maybe it's something from the past they've been focused on. Something disappointing. And this beautiful cup that you've given or Spirit has blessed them with. They've just rejected it. Somebody's not really been ready for this. Someone was not ready for this beautiful offer. And it looks like somebody feels like they've been left in the cold. Somebody feels abandoned. This person could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. It could be this. Could be you. This could be needing to set strong boundaries. Cutting out anyone that's not serving with that sword there. But also we have another um, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody rushing in here. Somebody being impulsive. Somebody swift moving. But it looks like somebody here is also defensive. Maybe somebody rejected someone because they were too defensive in the past. Those other cups that hurt them. Somebody is trying to fend off whatever's coming towards them. But it looks like this person's rushing in now. It looks like they're kind of ready to come forward. This is interesting, isn't it? Distant past. We have that you've retreated, had time out. This is Virgo energy. Someone's had to have time out to heal. Could be that you're a teacher to others as well. But also you've, you've started to heal, you've had time out because you've dealt with a karmic situation, stuck in your head, self-imposed prison, somebody's kind of needed to have time out to heal from this karmic situation, but somebody's been stuck in their head, S need to take off that blindfold, take off that blindfold, cut yourself free and smell the roses. Because somebody's actually got fame and fortune. Somebody might be a teacher to others, this could be that other people are noticing you. And they seem that you're healing from the situation where you've been stuck in self-imposed prison. Now you're actually rising up. You're actually coming out of hermit mode and you're actually getting noticed. People are cheering you on and seeing that you're doing amazing. But the recent past, we have somebody that's been watching. Somebody's watching here. They're seeing that you're healing and they're seeing that you're doing very well on your own. This is actually independent. Very good on your own, actually. Tame that bird on your hand like you're taming a beast. This person's watching everything you're doing. It looks like you're really independent. And actually you're doing very well without anybody else. 
This is actually independent, single energy, looking amazing, looking very good in your garden, you're very grounded, looking great. Your thoughts, you're thinking about juggling so many different things, you're busy doing so many things, maybe you feel this person juggled you with some other people, looks like they actually think they could have put you in a third party, maybe they were just kind of like always partying and just wanted some fun. But it looks like maybe you could be juggling different jobs and actually you're really wanting to celebrate, have some good times. But also you're cutting out whatever's not serving. So you're really cutting out whatever's not serving you. This is the person that we're challenged with. This is the person that's your counterpart match. So it looks like you're cutting out whatever's not serving. You're ready for celebrations. This you don't it's like you're not really bothered about anybody else. But you're busy, busy juggling a lot of different things and you're actually ready for celebrations, ready for good times. Maybe you're thinking about maybe catching up with the girls or the boys. Because this is also a feminine energy. So you could be thinking about somebody that is your feminine match. Feminine could be, you could be a male or a female for either of these energies. The future. The future is you needing to trust your intuition. Maybe you're getting a very strong intuition. Your intuition is really growing. Maybe you can trust your intuition that somebody's got anxiety and sleepless nights. Somebody's not able to sleep. Maybe you need to trust your intuition with this. But also we have some sort of new beginning, a new job or some sort of new thing you're creating. You've got a little bit of anxiety about this, but it looks like it could be to do with trusting your intuition. You've got anxiety and sleepless nights, but it's something that you're needing to start. It's just something you're kind of birthing. This is also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it could be something that you're actually just developing. It's like just giving birth to something. And it could be about financial stability. But it's just something that you're just starting. So this is your fears. You're fearing taking a leap of faith. You're ready to do something new here. It looks like there's some kind of commitment. You're fearing taking a leap of faith into a commitment. Or maybe this is a teacher. This is like a spiritual kind of like spiritual connection. You've got fears about taking a leap of faith into some sort of connection or some sort of contract, but also to do with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. This could be somebody you have a lot of emotion for, or they've got a lot of emotion for you. We also have Taurus energy. This is somebody here that you've got fears about taking a leap of faith into any connection after this person maybe that you dealt with. Looks like you have a lot of love. Maybe you've got fear of connections. You got a fear about commitment after this situation where you've been hurt in the past and rejected. Other people see you as actually bringing justice. You could be a Libra. Well, you are a Libra, aren't you? This is a Libra reading, but it's that you balance the scales. It's like you bring karma. Your karma is that you're looking amazing. This is actually shining. This is actually being very attractive and actually attracting everything towards you. This is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. We also have the chariot. So you're moving forward. You're looking amazing. You're attracting everything towards you. This is some kind of fiery energy where you're looking really great. But also this is Cancer and Libra. So you really are moving forward. This is actually that you're getting justice. You're getting justice that you're looking great. And also that you've got... That you're moving forward. That you're moving forward... Maybe you're getting a new car or going travelling somewhere. This is how your hopes. You're hoping for some kind of... Oh, it looks like you're hoping for some sort of toxic energy. Could be some kind of... Oh, you're hoping... How could you be hoping for some sort of obsession? Because this is actually Capricorn energy. So you're kind of hoping that somebody's kind of obsessed with you. You're hoping that somebody's kind of... Um, maybe you're hoping to actually get rid of any toxic energy. You're hoping to move forward from any toxic energy and that you're hoping to um, get free from any addictions. This is codependency. This is like some kind of bad habits you keep going back to. Obsessive thinking and kind of like, you know, things that are not good for you. But you're actually stuck at a crossroads. You're blindfolded. So, so you're really hoping to move forward from any toxic energy. You're really kind of come to a point in your life when you don't want that sort of energy in your life. The outcome here is you're walking away. You're definitely walking away from that toxic energy. You're walking away. 
you're walking away from any deceptions, any lies, any kind of things that are hidden, you're really wanting the truth of things, so you're ready to walk away if you don't get the truth here. Looks like you have somebody who's a past life connection. This is a soulmate connection. Somebody who is returning, because we had that card before, reconciliation. But it looks like you're wanting to walk, you're walking away because you haven't gotten the truth of things. And this is actually that you've got somebody here who is a soulmate. Looks like you may be walking away from somebody who's trying to return because they haven't been honest with you. And also they would like to rebuild. They would like a reconciliation. They're getting a lot of karma for whatever they've done. And you're getting rewards. So this is actually somebody here who would like to rebuild. They would like to rebuild from the ground up. This is also Spirit blessing you with your good work that you've done. But also this person is wanting to come back here. They feel a strong connection to you. This is a soulmate connection. But it looks like you wanting to walk away because they haven't been honest with you. And also, because you're a star, you're healing, you're actually getting wish fulfillment, and this is a new pathway, new job, some sort of new beginning, Aquarius energy as well. So you're actually, looks like you're, you're walking away from anything that's been deceptive, any illusions, confusion, and you're actually becoming a star. People are sh seeing you shining, seeing you getting wish fulfillment, seeing you get everything that you've done the healing, but also you're getting some sort of new beginning. This is actually money. Coming in for you, it's a new job, new kind of financial stability, and it looks like you're actually getting some amazing situation here. So, all the best with that. If you decide to walk away, it looks like you're wanting to walk away from any lies, anything that you can sense, you can feel is w w what's going on, and you're actually choosing to walk away if there's no truth being spoken. So, all cool. Bye!